Okay, spicy people, it's a girl who spice the sex goddess. So I want to throw this out there. And this is basically to all those religious people, right? Um, if you know deep down inside of you that you're a religious person, if you know deep down inside of you that the person you're dealing with or you're dating is a religious person, and you know you want to be freaky in bed after marriage, please do not marry them. It is time we stop looking for the wife material, the wife who is presentable, the wife who, who looks good in front of everyone, the wife who you can show the world and show all your religious people just so you can look like a good man. And then you cry behind because she's not freaky in bed or because she's not a bitch in bed. If you want a bitch in bed, then marry a girl who can and who is willing to be a bitch in bed. Don't go marrying um, a religious person who is clean, who is, you know, who is calm, who can pray 24-7, who wants to read the Bible, who wants to go to heaven, who wants to, you know, do everything very religious. And then you are hoping that she's going to be nasty and she would want to give you anal sex and fuck you real hard in bed. No. Why would you even date someone in the first place and not talk about sex, yet you go ahead to marry the person? Why would you not ask them, you know, their, 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 their strengths, their weakness in bed, what they can do, what they hope never to do, what they would never do, so you know what you're getting into. But no, we are so religious. No, we want the world to know that we are marrying a good woman. No, we want to showcase our wife to the world that, yes, this is the woman I'm getting married to without asking about their sexuality. And then tomorrow what happens? You go out to look for the bitch, the one who is ready to give it to you. The one who's ready to take you down her throat and gag and, and fuck you and give you anal sex whilst you know that your wife can't do it. And then you reach out to his husband and start to complain, oh, she was like that before marriage, but I was hoping she would change. What were you thinking? To all those who are not married, please note, do not marry a man or a woman without asking about sex. Know their, their deal breakers. Know, you know their length. Know what they will do and what they will never do. Find out, do you think you're going to give head? Do you think you want to try it out? Do you think you're going to give a blowjob? Do you think you're going to take my dick deep down your throat? Do you think you might want to try a non-sex? Do you think you might want to try a threesome? Ask questions. Don't jump into my because you think you're in love and you ignore every other thing. See, they won't teach you all these things in church. They're never going to tell you about these things in church. So you better ask now. Talking about sex is different from doing sex. Ask. Speak up. If you do not speak up, you will cry at the end of the day. And trust me, there's nothing Soul Spice can do about it. I can't help you. I can't change your spouse's mindset. I can't make that religious woman into a bitch. No. She has to be willing. Decide what you really want. Ask about sex. Talk about sex. If you want to do a threesome, if you want anal sex, if you want to finger the asshole, if you want to do anything, talk about it before you walk down the aisle. If not, you are walking down that aisle to cry. And I will be here to get paid to even listen to you. Do you have a sister today to like come your way again? I mean, your one and only. So spice the sex today.